I know that when you have three and you get one negative, it is literally detrimental to your brand. I have personally experienced this, unfortunately, and it wasn't even our fault. It was Amazon's fault. And so um, I've seen that. But tell me a little bit more in your experience. You're dealing with a lot of people that are having all these negative review problems. And what is the biggest impact that you see on your listing and the brand when something negative happens? Well, I mean, as we all know, if you're a seller and you're listening to this, everybody has a story about a negative review. You just do. I mean, if you've been doing it long enough, whether it's a legit review that maybe it's something you need to change in regard to your product, you need to pivot, or it's you being attacked, or maybe it's not even your fault, which I think you might have a story that you might be sharing about that a little later. But the the hard part is, is it's frustrating. I think we can all agree that it becomes very frustrating, right? Um, if you need to, you know, improve some stuff, great. And that that can be, you know, great for your brand. And you go, okay, hey, listen, a lot of people are saying the same things. Maybe we need to look at this. But being attacked, and, and that's we built this company out of frustration of, of we had our clients that were being attacked. I mean, you get to a certain point, unfortunately, people get attacked. And, and that's just is a very common thing once you get to a certain place. Once you start making some great money, you're like, oh, I just got to figure out Amazon. Then you start getting attacked. There's always something that happens. And I always joke around the, you know, the only constant thing with Amazon or any of this is change, right? I mean, you, you have to be on your toes, right? I mean, we kind of joked about that earlier. The, we wouldn't be probably in business if there wasn't, you know, constant change there. And it, and it becomes hard, right? Because you're not always educated on that. So they turn to people like yourself that you can help you educate you on what, what happened in Amazon this week, because it could absolutely affect you next week. So um, negative reviews are, are are one of those things that a, a, a seller tell me that, and this was, I thought this was great. He says, you know what, it, it's, like a, it's like having a sandal. It's like having a rock in your sandal that you can't take out. Like I can still walk, right? But it's very uncomfortable. And there's times that it hurts, you know, more than other times. Um, it, it's just one of those things. Like I, we all deal with it. And so, you know, what we do is what's been frustrating is that people have said, hey, you know what? I, I don't know what to do. Like there's nothing I can do. When I talk to people when we first started the company, when we were removing the negative review, started doing it, people are like, this, this, this isn't possible, right? From a white hat perspective, obviously black hat, there's tactics that we would never recommend. And, you know, obviously you put your brand at, at risk if you're doing that. For us doing this from a white hat perspective, I would go to events, powwow and prosper and all these shows and people would go, nah, I've heard about this. You can't do it. Mm -hmm. and I'm like, perfect. I'm like, I, we can, let me show you. Let me quit. And so in the beginning, there was this long, big learning curve, not really learning curve, but really educating people that, Hey, this isn't, this isn't something you're not hiring somebody in another country. That's going to do some funny stuff that can put you in jeopardy. Like we are fully compliant with Amazon. So um, I think that was the biggest hurdle that we ran into. And then once the review started coming down, for our clients, people were, I mean, we're in a good position now where once that starts happening, then everybody starts telling everybody. Amazon's very, uh, I'm not saying sexual, it's maybe not the right term, but they, everybody talks. And so if you have a service, you have something that goes right. We've been very lucky that everybody's just been talking about it. And it's really kind of, I don't want to say taken off virally, but we are that the only option that can do it from a white hat perspective. And it was not an easy journey. I will not, it's not like we you know have one template that we use and we just file these things. We've moved in so many different directions. Amazon's constantly changing stuff. I mean, they had updates just a few weeks ago. They're, it's constantly happening. We're constantly evolving with Amazon as we go through this thing. So um, I'm excited to tell everybody the story. I'm excited to, to, to let everybody know that there is an option. Um, there is a viable option that, that you know you can do and be able to remove your reviews and, and not be in, you know, you'd be fully in compliance with, you know, with Amazon. 